Hi everyone, this is Niharika Ghadge and I welcome you on behalf of ILCC. In our series of interviews, today we have with us our mentee, Amarpal Singh, and we have invited him today to share his experience with you all. So without further ado, let us begin with the session. Uh, so before I ask the questions, how would you like to introduce yourself to the audience? As you already know that my name is Amarpal Singh Dua. I'm a final year law student at UPS Dehradun. I grew up in a city that is often referred to as Manchester of India. I did my education at a boarding school, the Lawrence School Sinar. Apart from my educational background, my ho hobbies include writing on social legal issues and reading autobiographies. Okay, uh, so could you tell us about your interest in uh, like areas of interest in law and uh, also about what inspired you to study law in the first place? My interest areas include company law, insolvency and bankruptcy court, and securities law. What inspired me to study law, I think, is my father. He's a practicing company sector in Ludhiana. He regularly appears before NCLT and ROC. So I think there, there was a part of me that wanted to become like him. Right. Uh, so what is your YLCC story? What inspired you to approach YLCC in the first place? So uh, what inspired me to approach YLCC was that I was uh, during COVID, when the COVID was at peak, I had some internship interviews lined up and there was no help from anywhere. So I just went on to YouTube, search for interview preparation tips and I had a first webinar I had of was Manikas. And I was able to gather some tips and then I finally decided to approach her in my final year. Right. Uh, so one of the most enriching sessions of the workshop is the one-on-one -on -one program. So how did the one-on-one -on -one interview preparation help you? I think that was one of the most extra extraordinary one-to-one -one interview preparation uh, session that I had with Samanika. She helped me to recognize my strength. And subsequently, you and she helped me that how to use that strength in front of the recruiter and back that job. For example, she told me that I can impress the recruiters easily by telling the, by giving them my opinion on by proposing an amendment in a particular law and what repercussion it has currently when there is no such amendment. Right. So you've picked very niche areas like the securities, capital markets, and financial regulatory, and that too at the very beginning of your career. So not many firms deal with such niche combinations. So what were the key challenges that you faced while trying to secure a, a job in the same domain? I think the answer lies in your question itself. That's a very niche area and not many law firms or practitioners deal in such areas. Right. So the, right. Entry, the, so the entry is also very restricted. And it's very difficult to get in and a firm and practitioners are reluctant to hire a fresher and they want someone who already has a relevant has the relevant experience so and i think it's also difficult for the recruiters to find a suitable candidate for their firm or the uh, or the team so technically it is all about the perspective you're looking at something right so uh, yes. could you tell us about your placement strategy and your interview experiences with other firms so coming to my placement strategy after my fourth year i had done quite a few internships and i was clear that I am inclined to pursue my career in financial regulatory practice. And then I start, I used LinkedIn very strategically. So I searched for law firms that hire freshers and I made a list and then I regularly, regularly applied to those practitioners and law firms. I think that was one of the main key factor, uh, one of the main reasons and the key factor that I am placed today. And coming to the second part of the question, that sharing my uh, interview interview with other interview experience with other firms. So there is one uh, one experience that is worth sharing. That I was already I had prepared, I had a session with Samanika also, and the interview interview got cancelled at the last moment. So I was very dejected. I had read up everything. However, I think it it is not it was not as bad as expected. Uh, there was a time when Hindenburg published a report on Adani. And I had read up a lot on that because I knew that is coming up in my interview whatsoever. Because of that, I was able to write, assist my senior to write uh, an article on Hindenburg fiasco, fiasco concerning securities law. That article is available on 
bar and bench i think that was great that was wonderful uh, so any tips if you would like to share with the audience members i think the tips that tip i would like to share with the audience member is that hard work beat, beats hard work and this, and i also want to highlight is that you know you should not compare yourself to anybody for example your batchmates may have a better packages or a better job at a tier one law firm everybody has their own journey and i should you should you should be grateful towards it right that was a wonderful session thank you so much thank you for being here and interacting with us we hope the audience will definitely benefit from your experience i on behalf of file cc wish you all the best for your bright future ahead thank you so much thank you so much thank you <laughs>